All right, hi there. I'm Carl with the Minor Chord Music Outfitters in Littleton, Massachusetts. And behind me, you see a very large pile of boxes from our percussion experts at Minel. And with me here is Tommy from the Minel hey. uh, factory there. And we're going to start unpacking this stuff. And uh, some new stuff that we haven't seen before. We'll be very interested to see what's inside. So uh, we'll show you as we go. All right, so this one, if I got my model numbers right, is a new cajon for Minel, a subwoofer cajon, which uh, looks to me like it's bigger than the normal cajon. All right, let's try it out, see if it has a subwoofer sound. I think so. I think we'll keep this one. Hey man, look at this. This is like Christmas. We got fruits, vegetables, frogs. These are all kid stuff, Nino brand. Tambourines, different colors. That's what we got in here. What's that? It's a stirring drum. You take your stick and run it around inside it's like a little mini xylophone. All kinds of good stuff. Fun, fun, fun. And a whole kid's percussion kit, all in one piece. All right, so what have we got here? I think it's a, it's a new model of a djembe. So, when I say new colors, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Even the head is black. So this is something we've never had before, a talking drum. See if I can play it. I've never tried to play a talking drum before. Unusual view. Now the idea is, I think, as I squeeze the drum on those chords, the pitch of the drum changes. How about that, huh? <laughs> This sounds a little interesting. Let's see what's inside this one. That's pretty. Cool. It's a drum with little BBs or something inside, and when you toss them around, you get a sound like the ocean. Right here we have a, a rain stick. I'm not your ordinary everyday rain stick. This is a professional grade rain stick. It's supposed to run for a lot longer than your usual rain stick. Let's see. Get your watch out. Let like the Energizer Bunny it's still going. And going. How about that? And this guy, says on the box, is an add-on conga. We've all seen regular conga drums. Have to give me a moment to unpack this thing. Let's see what's inside this box. Wow, look at all this stuff. Yeah, Tommy, you hold that for me. Oh, there's the drum. He's got the system. All right. Put this aside. <laughs> there goes the rain stick again. All right. All right. So there's our conga. One of the things I notice is it's got a big hole in the side here, and the bottom is closed. It's not open. So this is a conga meant to sit on the floor, which makes it a little bit easier to set up and play. And then the add-on part looks like these things. All right, so we've got a bracket over here, and this has some Velcro stuff on it, which I think we'll figure out in a minute. Come back to that. And then here we have a hand symbol, which, by the way, is thinner than a stick drum kit type symbol. Throw that over there on that bracket. more box. 
boxes, but he found some very fancy cajones. This guy is sort of dressed up in zebra stripes. This guy over here is dressed in tiger stripes. And this is an artisan edition cajon. Look at the woodwork on the side of this. Gloss finish. And this guy really sounds nice too. How about that? And here's an interesting critter. This is the Milo base box. What does it do, you might ask? Well, let me show you. So, all it is a box, port in the front. It comes with this special beater, this right angle. Um, you have to find your own kick drum pedal, or if you don't have one, I'll sell you one too. Let me attach it here. And this could be used by vocalist out in front of a band, or uh, like me, I'm sitting on a cajon, I got some snare stuff going there. Listen to this, bass box. Alrighty, now let's talk a little bit about cajon toys. Uh, other things you can play at the same time you're playing a cajon. Let's start with a cajon blanket. It's a combination seat, as well as a place to stash some of your toys. Just goes on pretty easy. Got a strap goes around underneath. Then on the back side over here, we've got some more Velcro. Strap it on like that. Now we get a nice cushion seat to sit on. Now let's look at some of these things here. A heel shaker. Take that. Stick it down in the back of my shoe. All right, there we go. Now over here, I've got a Velcro surface on my left side, your right side. And uh, Minel has got a couple different kinds of um, casting net type toys and other things that go on there. So this guy, here's a, here's a straight caster net. I'm gonna put it this way up so I can get to the working edge a little better. So I got two different sounds. I got the straight caster net. And then I got the sort of jingly thing. Right here handy, along with my cajon. Got my steel shaker. Now I have uh, maybe a couple different sticks and brushes. Here's a set of uh, straightforward brushes. I can adjust how stiff I want them by moving the, the O-rings here. And my, uh, my blanket has a little pouch on the side when I'm done with my sticks. Just stick them there for quick access. And then I got one more style of stick here. It's got a soft beater. It gives you sort of a kick drum sound. And then a brush at the end. I can rock back and forth between the two of them. Get different sounds on the front of my cajon. kinds of sounds right at my fingertips. So we're back with the add-on conga and we figured out what all these little, little extras are for. So you can see here on this side I have a little table with some velcro on top and uh, mine also has these little castanets and other sort of little percussion toys and I just stick them on there with that velcro tape and they stay put. Over on this side I took one of our Minel cowbells and mounted that on the bracket on the side. So now I have a whole Latin percussion kit right mounted on this one drum. 